When you can't make sense of the world today Ask Mr. Jordan to show you the way On the birds and the BS Ooh, this one's gonna be good I told you, I told you I had something fun to go through at the end of this long week Ooh, let's go Morning everyone, and welcome to the Birds and the BS, where we encourage you to actually take the advice you give your children. Well, good morning to you, friend. I hope you're having a great day. I'm about to have a really fun day. Mike, one small question though. Who is this show targeted to? It's clearly got a child's aesthetic to it, but if you're supposed to be talking to parents, are you trying to talk to mentally uh, deficient parents, parents with a childlike mind, or is this for children? I just, I don't understand right off the bat who your target demographic really is. Today's letter comes from Allie in Alabama. Dear Mr. Jordan, my son is always playing with his gum and spitting it on the floor, so I've made a no gum in the house rule. My daughter says she always uses her gum responsibly, so it's still her right to chew. Should I let my daughter keep her gum? Hmm, Allie, let me use an analogy to help with this one. Imagine for a moment that I am surrounded by people who play with their gun. With these people spitting bullets all over, would my mother still let me keep my gun? Here to answer that question is my favorite mother from live musicals on TV, Anna Gasteyer. <laughs> oh, 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 I see what you did there. So you're saying, you know, something that is important enough to this country that there is a amendment that we all live by since the creation of this country. It's the same thing as chewing gum. I get it. I see what you're doing here. You're dumbing it down, you know, so people can, you know, your audience can understand it. But I thought this was for parents. Well, let's see what this Hollywood actress has to say about our Second Amendment rights in this country, I'm sure it's really important. Also, side note, Jordan, you're like 40. You're still asking your mom for permission to do things? I just don't think I want your opinion on stuff. If I were using my gun the right way, but others weren't, would you still let me keep mine? Of course not. Yep, I can't even believe I have to respond to this craziness. If... One person uses their vehicle irresponsibly and gets in a car accident. Should we all give up our cars? How about the guy that or gal that drinks too much, who becomes an alcoholic? Should we ban all alcohol? What about the person that digs too far in their ear with a Q-tip and goes deaf? Should we ban all Q-tips? I can't even believe... I can't even believe what I'm watching! This is insanity! But I didn't do anything wrong. It's a fair point you make. This was not your mistake. I'm a law-abiding son. Why take away my gun? <sighs> Are we really going to sing about this? This is creepy, creepy stuff. Next thing you know, they're going to be talking about how we all need to make a few sacrifices for the greater good. Am I right? Not like every dictator in history <laughs> has ever has ever said something crazy like that. Government says sacrifices sometimes should be made in the name of the greater good. Oh, they said it. They said it. But as a mother in charge of your fun, the acts of another can ruin it for everyone. That's because, as you always say, This is why we can't have nice assault weapons or, you know what, guns of any kind. When it comes to our kids, it's time for us to step in instead of think and pray for peace of mind. Oh, I get it. You're literally advocating for the government to be our parents. To do things and look out for the greater good. Right? And that we should just all turn in any ways, any means of protecting ourselves and just let our government handle it all. I'm sure, you know, history isn't riddled with, <laughs> with examples of this going terribly wrong. I'll tell you what. You can come get my Kimber. You can come get my Glock. You can come get my smaller Kimber. You know what? You can also come get... 
my Russian maid, AK-47, when hell freezes over. Someone tainted Tylenol, they fixed the flaw. There was one shoe bomb, and they changed the law. That's right, you fucking idiot. They didn't ban Tylenol, they didn't ban shoes. Yet here you are asking for, for essentially the entire repeal of our Second Amendment. We'll get to that in a minute. And when guns kill kids, that's the final- Second Amendment. Ah, that's exactly what they always do. They shoot us down by invoking the Second Amendment. Don't they understand how much there is to lose? There are lives at stake and don't forget whose. Nothing's more important than the safety of a child. I don't know. Am I, am I totally out of bounds here to say that all lives should be valued equally, whether young or old? I hate- I hate this. It's for the kids. Think of the kids. Look, I'm sorry, but as a 35-year-old man, I will not place the value of one life over another. You can't do that. It's purely emotional appeal, obviously. So time to take your guns and the rhetoric is stockpiled. Whoa, that's pretty radical. Most of us are against assault weapons, but even we liberals can't go after the Second Amendment itself. Why not? I mean, we just don't. It's always, look, we're not saying we're coming for your guns. Actually, now we are. Wait, really? Mm. This is why we can't have compromise. Go on. Well, even though there are a lot of people who use guns responsibly, the fun we get to have with them isn't worth the destruction they cause. Exactly. Yeah, protecting my home and my property and protecting myself against a tyrannical government is fun for me. Look, I'm done responding to this trash. It is completely absurd. Most gun owners in this country are entirely open to some level of change. What that change is, well, that's going to depend. But when I see this kind of propaganda, I don't know who else you're targeting here, but kids and dumb adults, right? I don't know who the target is here. But since you liberals hate Donald Trump so much, why do you keep doing everything you possibly can to get the man elected? There are a lot of reasonable liberals like myself who would be willing to listen to some sort of reform conversation. Yes, there are absolutionists on one side and obvious absolutionists on the other. I think we'd all agree that we're willing to have more stringent background checks. I think I'm fine with that. Uh, I think you could at least get the majority to agree with something like that. But... This is an entirely losing effort. It's so bad that it's going to do the opposite. It's going to, again, move someone like me, who is a collector and someone who has things for home defense and for hobby and sport. It's going to turn me into a purist, a 2A purist, where I'm no longer going to accept any compromise because this is the message that you're putting out is that you are unwilling to compromise. And in the conversation of who's willing to compromise and who isn't, I think I'll be on the side of the one with all the guns. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to be notified the next time I upload a video, make sure you subscribe and take a moment to turn on notifications. If you want to support the cause of this channel, it survives because of the amazing generosity of those that choose to back me on Maker Support. The link is in the description and hopefully you'll consider backing today.